NAMA, National Asset Management Agency, was set up to manage Ireland's property and financial debt. To fully understand why NAMA came into existence, we have to go back a few years to the days of the Celtic Tiger, when ordinary people and big businesses were borrowing money from the banks. The property developers were the biggest borrowers of all. They borrowed money to build lots and lots of houses. At that time, bankers were only too happy to lend them this money. But what was really happening was that people in Ireland were lending and borrowing to fuel a false reality. People were spending money on properties that they couldn't afford. The thinking was that if they paid it back over a long period, then that would be all right. Then bang, the world's economy went bust. And as a result, house prices in Ireland fell, and the bankers who lent this money to the property developers had now massive amounts of money owed to them. Suddenly this property wasn't nearly as valuable as it had been. As a result, many properties and buildings still under construction had to be abandoned as building sites. The property developers are now having trouble selling these houses to pay back the loans they took out, and the banks don't have enough finance to risk loaning to people that want to buy houses or develop their businesses. All of this has left us in a financial limbo. Then the NAMA concept was born. NAMA has been set up by the Irish government, funded by the Irish taxpayers, to assist the banks with their bad debts and help the property developers sell their uncompleted houses over a period of time so that most of the lost money can be recouped. The hope is that NAMA will give the banks confidence to lend money again, which will increase business activity and generate more jobs for the Irish people. If this happens, the property developers should be able to gradually pay back their loans. Also, it is assumed that these properties will grow in value over the years. The hope is that this, combined with the end of the current global recession, will lead Ireland to a future of economic stability, balance and harmony.